While many emerging markets are floundering, Andy, let's take a look at Indonesia. The Jakarta stock market up 10 percent so far this year. Analysts and investors pretty excited about the upcoming election. There's a new guy on the block. People think it's going to herald a big change. His name is Joko Widodo, better known as Joko Wee. Is it really going to change things, though? Well, Tyler, what I am arguing is that the election may not answer the investors' prayer. Uh, and probably because uh, investors are being a tad too optimistic. Mind you, I'm not forecasting a drop in share prices in the near term. What I'm saying is that the reform expectations were equally high with President Yudhoyono 10 years ago. But those reforms never really materialized. Now, Indonesia, we must accept, is a messy parliamentary democracy. Now, to pin hopes on one man, even if he's the president, can lead to eventual disappointment, however well-meaning Jokowi might be. Now, what will be important, therefore, is just what kind of control in Parliament his party, Jokowi's party, PDIP, will have. Now, that we will come to know next month. Politics, interesting, important. Joko, a very uh, populist man who might, who might change things if he's elected. But commodities, that's what it's about in Indonesia when it comes to the economy. And we all know that China's slowing down, so demand is shifting as well. It does beg the question why Jakarta stocks are so high. Yes, Tara. Uh, now, Chinese demand is indeed important and it is indeed slowing, uh, Chinese demand for commodities, that is. And Indonesia, which is a major exporter of minerals, uh, of uh, palm oil and uh, uh, coal and other commodities. Now, it can't really rely on domestic consumption, which has supported more than 40 percent of GDP growth in recent years, because... You, you simply can't do that for any length of time without investments. And India is a good case study because India tried to do just that and then it floundered. Uh, because what happens is that when you, when you, when you do that, you basically uh, you know, prop up consumption with wage growth running faster than productivity growth, and that's inflationary. And we do know that just like in India, inflation expectations in, in, in Indonesia too aren't always well anchored. So... Uh, so proving the or, or so improving the investment climate, I beg your pardon, is absolutely essential. Well, let's keep an eye on this. Elections coming up in Indonesia. It's one of the hottest emerging stock markets right now. But there are some key issues that investors should be aware of.